go in the heat. Let me take you dancing. Let me get you on your feet. Arizona garden with my little cactus flower. Let the day slip away in the golden hour. We've got nothing but time and music and a sweet cold drink in the heat. Oh, I'll be beside. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Happy New Year. This is literally the first time that I'm picking up the camera since Christmas day. There have been days where I have just vegged out on the couch, which have been wonderful. I read like three books during this last like two weeks. <laughs> and it was marvelous, but also because I rested so much, which I think my body really needed it after so much work. And then after just like, a rough start to my pregnancy and stuff. I am feeling so like restless. Uh, so this week I was like, okay, we're getting back into it. I did a lot of planning on my break, like just mentally like jotting things down and notes and things. Romeo and I have been taking walks in our neighborhood and just like trying to move my body again because I felt just like I wasn't feeling great. You know, like I was just feeling like restless and like I wasn't moving and walking around and stuff. Today when I'm filming this, I am 18 weeks pregnant a little bit of a bump if you wanted a bump update a little bit just a little one what started off as a rough first trimester now that i'm fully in my second trimester and i'm 18 weeks i feel so normal which i'm very grateful for if i didn't have a bump and i could couldn't go and hear the baby's heartbeat i would be convinced i wasn't pregnant that's how normal I feel. I definitely am not as tired. I feel more like just like awake and aware, not so like, oh, the fatigue was really intense the first trimester. So I have a lot of updates. I have a lot of things that I need to fill you guys in on. We have projects that I wanna work on, oh, just things. But first, Romeo and I are gonna go to this um, cafe and get some grilled cheese and tomato soup. I'm craving it. It's, um, I don't really, uh, speaking of cravings, I say cravings lightly because I always, I mean, I think it's a very normal, <laughs> a normal thing to like crave foods. Like, what are you hungry for? And you're like, I'm craving this. That's very much how it's been. I don't crave anything like a desperate need to have it. I don't think it's any different than like a normal, normal, you know? So I'm like, I think I really want like grilled cheese and it's cold outside. It's been just like super windy and cold. We have projects I wanna work on upstairs. We're gonna be starting the baby nursery <laughs> like very soon. So we're like, in the early stages of that. And I'm so happy to be back because I really missed you guys and just like picking up a camera. I was actually kind of nervous to pick up the camera, which is weird. That happens every year when I'm down from it for a little bit. It's like, I overthink what I'm about to say and that's not normally how this goes. So welcome back. <laughs> So we made it back and we just ran to the grocery store. We just needed a few things. Uh, so I wanna talk to you guys about my plan or the ideas kind of for plans for videos that I have for this year. So you kind of know what I'm thinking, although I know that it's crazy to think that I'm gonna have it all planned out, even though like I'm gonna progressively get more and more pregnant and I'm gonna progressively go through changes and things uh, that are all new to me. 2024 is gonna be played by ear. We're just gonna go with how I'm feeling, what I'm capable of. Donkeys. <laughs> they were in the washer? They were on top of the washer. Why? I don't know how my stuff gets these <laughs> places, man. He's always losing something. <laughs> these are on top of the washer. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> Like my wallet, my keys, my phone are all in three different places. You know, we have an entryway table that has a bowl that all your stuff is supposed to go in. You know that. That, that thing is full. Of your stuff? No, it's your stuff. No, I don't know about that. So I thought a lot about content for this year and kind of like how I can make each um, 
outlet for my videos, an outlet for content like really special and separate from one another because I feel like that's something that I've struggled a lot with in the past, specifically when like quote unquote short form content came to be more of um, a thing. Well, now we're entering a new phase of my life where there are facets <laughs> of things happening. Not only do I have my projects, like my DIY projects and my home makeovers and my passion, right? We also have this new venture of me being pregnant and becoming a mom and then other things like starting my business and and having a product based business and making it um, successful and, and seamless and, and working and my main YouTube channel, the YouTube channel that I started six years ago, where I share my projects and my home decor, and my DIYs, things like that, uh, will always stay that way. Uh, it will be focused solely on my projects and renovations and projects that we're gonna be doing at this house, and pr probably more than likely with more help. Any help that we're gonna be getting at the cottage and working on those projects again. And, and then here, the channel that you're currently watching is a completely separate channel from that. It's called Exo McKenna Vlogs, as you guys know. So it's kind of a hodgepodge of everything in my life because it's behind the scenes of my projects. It's more about life, um, my life with Romeo and Kinsley and now with the, the baby coming and stuff. But regardless, I still don't want it to become like Romeo asked me, he's like, are you going to become like a, or is this going to be like a family type blog now? Like, and I was like, no, <laughs> uh, we're not going to do that. Um, but I would be remiss to say that it wouldn't be a huge part of my life. So there are going to be some things a hundred percent that are shared here that are more um, pregnancy and mom related, but it's not going to take over the whole content. Over on Instagram, it'll kind of still be the same that it always has been. And obviously stories and things like I was posting on my stories while I was um, kind of on break. So you'll always see like kind of like in the moment kind of like things on Instagram. Then when it comes to TikTok, I don't know how many of you guys are on TikTok. Please let me know if you are, but I've never really put a lot of effort into it. I think that it was the one platform that I always really struggled with because it was kind of the same as Reels. But now that we're entering this new phase of life, I'm 18 weeks pregnant, I really do want TikTok to be more um, about my life as a mom and um, have a place to share those things that I don't really feel fit in other ways um, on my other platforms. Uh, so if you wanna know anything about my pregnancy or gearing up and like me working through the, having our first baby and I'm gonna be sharing a lot more of that on TikTok. So other big one is my podcast and where that is going to go. And really the first year of my podcast was really just experimentation of what am I gonna like to record balance to what is gonna work and what people want to listen to. It's all like a balance game. We are, it is gonna go on hiatus. Um, I'm not gonna bring it back right away, um, but I wanna start like use the next couple of months to just kind of like really understand what I wanna do with it and what worked and what didn't or what I felt really comfortable with versus what I didn't like and really learn from the first season to understand what I wanna do for the second season. While I'm feeling good and while I'm feeling like my energy is really high and I'm not super big so I can still move around. Like, like I'm feeling really great right now and I'd like to tackle as much of the nesting stage as possible. And the first on the list is very much do the nursery and really figure out what I what I want uh, for the design and stuff. And so I'm gonna show you where the nursery is going to go in the guest bedroom um, and what all the things that we need to do in order for that to kind of happen. <clears throat> So I think Romeo wants some, some AG1s to give him some energy. So I'm gonna make him that and then we'll head upstairs and I'll show you the space. So a habit that we are definitely bringing with us into 2024 from 2023 is drinking AG1. A big thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Uh, I've been drinking it over, for, over a year now, but I don't think that Romeo, I think it took him like six months to like really be interested in what I was drinking. AG1, I'm talking about you. <laughs> All of us think a lot about like 
our health in the new year, either bringing habits, good habits with us or starting new ones and like really paying attention to our health and how we feel and starting off the new year strong. So if you haven't tried it out yet, now it's definitely a good time to, um, you know, try it out for yourself. AG1 is empowering people to take ownership of their health through more of a universal approach to supplementation for your whole body. You just put one scoop of AG1 into a glass and fill it with eight to 12 ounces of water and mix it. And I first started drinking AG1 because I really wasn't feeling my best. I wasn't feeling like my body was getting getting everything that it really needed from food every day the immediate first thing i noticed was this like boost of energy without having to drink caffeine because i was resorting to coffee every day you just drink it because you know it's good for you you don't actually know what's in it mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like 75 vitamins and minerals and things in there that are good for you that i know that grilled <sighs> cheese and tomato basil soup did not give us it's good it's, it's actually a taste that I started to get addicted to. It's like, it, you like it, but he just chugs it. I enjoy it. Like I just like drink no, it throughout. Just chug yeah. It. But we obviously love it and bringing it into the new year. You like to drink it before you go uh, run, right? Like yeah. before you play ball. Mm -hmm. It takes like 20 seconds to make, and then he just chugs it and he's like ready for the day. And it helps with so much more than just your energy, like gut and immune support, stress and mood. You feel like you're That's like- That's actually really good. <laughs> It's like this dirt. Is <laughs> yeah, it feels it's, it's, clean. It feels really clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely try it out for the new year if you haven't. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely try it out if you haven't already. You guys can save twenty dollars when you subscribe at drinkag1.com slash xo mckenna vlogs. And like always, AG1 is gonna give you a free one year supply of their D3 and K2 vitamin and five free travel packs. These are perfect to like on the go if you're gonna be traveling anytime soon. Uh, we were almost gonna go on a cruise for our baby oh, moon. Yeah. <laughs> like, Just sold out as you were I out. was literally on the thing figuring out all the details, right? The flight and, and where we were gonna go to the Caribbean and stuff. And I was really down a rabbit hole in like planning this trip. Hopping. Yeah, like St. Thomas and St. Martin and a whole bunch of places. And on this really nice cruise ship, Norwegian or something, it all fell apart. But if I was gonna do that, I would have brought the packs with me. So a big thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Do you feel pumped to build some cabinetry? Yes. Yes. Okay, so during the break, Romeo and I thought a lot about like how we were going to have enough storage. Closets are on the smaller side and I have really put a lot, a lot in our guest bedroom. It's kind of become like my storage where Romeo has his office in his room because he had obviously a lot more stuff when it pertained to his business. So. For me, the guest bedroom worked. So, <laughs> this closet, you can see how kind of small, you can see the closet size. It has a window, which is odd. Both closets have windows. It's packed with stuff. And also it works for like wardrobe, but that's actually not what we would use it for. So we had, you know, it has all of the like hanging spots, but I needed it for frames and decor and things like that so this looks a hot mess because i actually shoved everything in here when we were about to have christmas anything that was out like my work stuff like all of my camera equipment like i have all of my camera equipment here and like my stuff it's super unorganized i'm actually kind of embarrassed now that i'm showing you this not gonna lie it's kind of bad i've got pillows like bags and pillows and lots and lots of art this was one thing that we needed to figure out. It's like, what am I gonna do with all of this stuff? Because this closet will become the baby's closet. The baby needs a closet. <laughs> the baby needs, you know, the, like we can hang things and, and stuff like that. So that would be a great closet uh, for the baby. And then when it comes to the guest bedroom in general, here it is. Like this is a king bed. And then also I have not taken this down yet because we really haven't gone we haven't gone up here uh, since we had Christmas, but uh, I still have the queen size air mattress inflated and it fits. This room fits two beds with the addition of this whole wardrobe. So my plan is to keep this a guest bedroom, but also you see that whole area back there, that whole kind of like jut out that goes back. It's a pretty substantial space. And I want that to be the nursery. Now, 
Am I a fool that thinks a baby won't take over multiple spaces if not the whole house? No, I do know that. But do I think <laughs> that we're gonna use the nursery a ton in the beginning of the baby's life? No, I really don't. This is, this is a decent space. Now, when it comes to like the baby becoming a toddler and playing, I don't think that the baby's gonna play up here. I don't know, we're, we're gonna take life in stages. You know what I mean? Like you don't really know how much room you really need until you're in it and you're like, okay, this isn't working. Let's pivot, let's change and whatever. And so this whole room could eventually become the baby's room. And then the guest bedroom be could become Romeo's room. He would just <laughs> have to give up some space, but that also is a guest bedroom. We have a fold out couch in there. So that means that not only does everything in that closet need to have a new home, everything in that wardrobe and those drawers also need a new home. So I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, kids, like, we gotta break this down. We do not need this anymore. See how it's really not like I'm taking up the whole thing. It's just, I have like some decor pieces and one thing's my mom's and some books and things. Like I need like decor space. So we actually did a lot of work in the garage as well. We ordered two big cabinets, uh, like um, shelving units for in there, heavy duty ones and reorganized and we have a lot more space in there now so some things i'm going to be moving outside some things we're going to be reorganizing into a different room and this side it's just like things you know like it's i just feel like it's not i didn't really organize I just like kept putting stuff up here as i went along but like nothing's like major like there's not like no i'll have a lot of candles in here but you know like it's it's not crazy so because this is becoming the nursery, that wardrobe's coming out. I feel like it's super inefficient. For one, it's like, it's just the wardrobe there and you can't put anything in front of it because then you can't open the doors or the drawers. So you can't have like a seating area uh, if that's something that you wanted, which is something I want with the nursery. But it does offer more storage. So the only thing, it get, I think it's a lot of dead space in between here. Uh, that's why a queen bed fits there. I think I have ideas to make that better. So we're gonna be taking out that wardrobe and just having the blank space so that we can turn it into a nursery, which is gonna work for us. But that means we need storage somewhere else. So I mentioned the garage and also we need storage in Romeo's room. He also lacks storage, but he has a decent size office up here. Always been something we wanted to design and work on and we, we totally will. It's just been kind of on the list to do. Has this whole wall uh, where he has his TV and a shelf. Just, I just feel like it could be a whole wall of storage actually. So during my break, I did go down the rabbit hole of deciding whether I was going to make <laughs> this cabinetry from scratch like I have done before with wood um, or that might be a lot of uh, undertaking for someone that's pregnant. So <laughs> I went the easier route. I went on Ikea and I designed a Pax wardrobe system and I picked the pieces that would fit the space perfectly and we're gonna build it. But we're gonna make it a little more me and we're gonna get some vintage hardware and we're going to eventually build it out to fit the room. Like I wanna put crown on the top. Basically any Ikea hack video that you've seen where they use the Pax wardrobe and make it better or make it like more designed, that's what we're gonna do eventually. Today I want to just get the cabinets built. Step one, you know, and just get them in place where they're gonna go and, and then go from there. It's all here, it's all on the patio. We're gonna start building it. And we're gonna see what it looks like and go from there.
kids the next day. We built four of them. I got seven. Let me explain. <laughs> so we built four of them and I stopped and stepped back from it. And I was like, this feels heavy, you know, because we went with the deeper versions of these because we wanted the most storage that we could. And originally what I wanted to do was do four here, one on the other side of the TV, and then kind of build around the TV, kind of making like an entertainment wall. You know, so the TV would be in the center, there'd be another tall one on the other side, and then one on the bottom, and one on the top. Then we kept <laughs> coming across small issues, right? So one issue was I quickly abandoned the top one, the doing it along the top, and I was gonna have to manipulate this. I was gonna have to like use the boards, but cut them and make them fit exactly how I wanted them to, which is totally fine. I was just gonna use the material instead of putting the boxes together. But one issue that we came across, the only air vent access to this room is right here. So we would, if we put a top one here, it would have blocked the air conditioning and the heat. <laughs> so that was quickly out. That was quickly a no-go, right? So I was like, okay, would it be weird not having a topper? Maybe I could, maybe I could lower it, not put it all the way up, and then we could have like a double layer or something. I don't know. I was thinking about that. Then, because we have baseboards in this room, it makes the cabinet sit about two inches further into the space. So I lost two inches and now it's like too cramped for the TV, the size TV that we have. This is an old TV that we had at our apartment um, that we didn't need in our bedroom. So Romeo has it up here and we would have to get like a smaller TV for this all to work. And we're not doing it. I felt like since it felt heavy already, adding more units to this wall would be even heavier. I'm thinking we don't need it. These three cabinets here will have doors and this last one i was actually going to do one of the bigger cabinets but they're like sold out everywhere so i was like okay i have to do the skinnier versions so these three will have doors this one is going to be open and then the other three were going to be open so they were going to be more decorative anyways more of romeo to put like his stuff that's more on display so i was like since they're just going to be decorative and they're not going to serve our storage purpose really we decided not to do it so we've got four <laughs> I actually, I also went, they have like three colors that you can go with. They have like black and white, right? And then they have this beige color. It's really pretty. And I got the doors um, for the three of these, but we need to, I need, what I need to do is I need to attach them all together and then secure these to the wall. I don't want to do it super permanent. I just want to secure it for like falling and movement and, you know, stuff like that because I may want to manipulate them a little more, more permanently when we do the makeover. I'm thinking so. I read in the instructions how to like put them together. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I grabbed some clamps from the garage for my stash. You have to clamp them together. I think Ikea actually wants you to attach these individually to the wall first and then put them together. I think that's totally backwards. I don't know why <laughs> that's backwards. I feel like you should put them together first so that they're one unit and then attach the whole unit to the wall, making sure they stay together. Me telling Ikea what to do, you know. But we have to clamp them together and then actually use a drill to go through the holes so that we can attach them, the, the whole thing together. So I'm gonna get them right perfect. Oh, these clamps are... <clears throat> and then drill into the fifth hole up. So easy. <laughs> Went right through to the other hole. Okay, and then they have like these special little screws. Honestly, you guys, even though this is just an Ikea cabinet, <laughs> you don't know how much satisfaction it gives me to build something. I feel like when I'm away from using tools and using my hands to create something, it makes me sad. Like it's my therapy. It makes me like, you know, excited to see what I can create and what can become whatever I'm working on. And then when I got pregnant, I think part of me thought like, you know, obviously my life is going to drastically change, but at the same time I thought, and if I listened to some extremist over others, that I wasn't going to be able to do anything, barely walk, <laughs> um, which is insane. And I can still do projects that 
um, aren't going to hurt me and keep me safe and just wear protective gear and stuff like that. It's like, that's why I'm really just listening to my body and like um, what I'm used to because this is what I'm used to. I'm used to like building and I'm used to picking things up and, and I have upper body strength to do those things. And I don't know, just this makes me happy, <laughs> even though it's just an Ikea cabinet. Beautiful, that's so easy to put them together. Look at that, that's brilliant. Okay, I always wondered how they got them together, like what they used. Now I have to do that one, two, three, five more times. Five more times, no big deal. It's a lot more secure with them all together. And then when Romeo gets back, I'll have him uh, help me like level and make sure that they're attached to the wall, right? And then we can start putting the shelves and the drawer, I got drawers, shelves, and then like some basket bottoms because I don't think it worked. I don't, I'll put it in the picture. So we have to put all of those things in there and then we're ready to start organizing all of the stuff that's in the nursery and guest bedroom into here. It's like all these things that we need to do leading up to just like tackling the nursery. Um, but it's good because this is something that we've needed to do for a while just to add more storage. So I'm really excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video back of the new year. I'm so excited to get back into it and just start working on projects again. And um, I don't know, just this year uh, is going to be quite literally life changing. And I'm so excited. It's just something that Romeo and I have looked forward to for so many years and I just we just couldn't be more happy, huh Kinsley? Oh, by the way, if you wanted to know, I'm sitting on it, if you wanted to know what that thing was that I got Romeo for Christmas at the flea market that I couldn't show you that was really big and heavy, this is it. It's a hand. <laughs> My mom was like, that's so weird, but it's, it's crazy. There's a couple of vendors at the flea market that has these like more plastic acrylic versions of hands like this and they charge like so much for them, like these oversized items. Romeo's very into oversized art, like oversized like pencils and things and paper clips and things that just aren't normally that size. Uh, so he really wanted to incorporate some of those like more artistic pieces of art into the design of his room eventually. Uh, so when I was at the flea market, he really loves those plastic ones, but I just like, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I'm like, it's plastic. I'm like, it just, it doesn't have the value. It's just priced that high because of the kind of like hype around them right now. And then I passed this vendor that had this wooden carved one. It's from Bali and it's literally carved. Like if you look at the bottom, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but it underneath, if you can see underneath, it's like you can see the inside of the tree trunk. And I thought it was so much more unique than the other ones. And it's a little on the smaller side, but I thought it was so cool. Now, would I want it anywhere else in the house? No, but does it work for the design eventually of this room? And Romeo, 100%. <laughs> like, it's just like a cool thing, you know? I will see you guys again on Thursday for another vlog, again on Sunday, uh, for the start of my main channel videos coming back in. I don't know if I mentioned this um, when I was talking about like, you know, like the new schedule and things that I'm gonna be, working on this year um but i am going to reduce the amount of videos on my other channel my diy channel to two videos a month so every other sunday it had already kind of become that because from the days of me just doing smaller diy projects to now i do much larger projects that need more time for me to be proud of them to share them and so it already kind of started going that direction or three times a month i would have to skip one because i just wasn't finished and now when you add the layer of the fact that I'm pregnant into it, I know I'm gonna be much slower at the projects. It's just kinda kind of where, where we're at. So every other Sunday over on my main channel. So this will be the first one and then in two weeks there'll be another one. We're gonna start the nursery, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys really soon. Bye guys. Gizly.
Are you ready to start organizing? We have to wait for your dad. You're so cute. You're so cute. You can't wait for the baby so you can have a friend to play with. Oh, besides mom and daddy. Yep. Yeah.